Hello friends, in this video, let's see uh, uh, template for two page research proposal for VIT PhD admission. It's given in their official website. You can see first thing, you have to give your title of your research clearly and make sure that uh, you, know, uh, you are giving title along with your email and application number. Application number is your PhD application number because normally you know, once you apply then the application number will generate and you need to add it. They have given example also infrared sensor to measure the hydrocarbon in water and the name and email ID and application is there. And second thing you have to write about the area of research and a specific uh, domain of research. Area of research means in the broad field, domain means a specific because in the broad field what exactly you are going to work you need to mention here they have given example nuclear physics as a broad field and radiation induced lumen 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 sense uh, is the uh, specific domain and look at the third one is objectives here you have to give a clear objective of your proposal that is your research what you are going to do you can write in this format like a paragraph or, or else you can give in the kind of bullets as point one two three probably you can have minimum three objectives and uh, don't have too many objectives so uh, give a clear objective so here the example the aim of this proposal is to develop a technical prototype of an infrared sensor that will measure the hydrocarbons in water. That's what objective one. Objective two, the sensor will use a fiber optic cable coated with a polymer and the level of the hydrocarbon will be determined by measuring the changes in refractive index. That is second thing even they have mentioned what kind of thing they will use to get that particular objective attained. Third one, the key research challenges, uh, they have added the challenges also in the objective. Uh, you can give a what you are planning to, to as well as you can add the certain challenges also. That's what they have given. Assessing the use of infrared measure, the level the, of hydro, hydrocarbon in water. Identifying a range of polymers that could be used in the sensor and finally assessing the activity of the sensor. These are the challenges. So, uh, you give a clear description. First thing you add objectives, probably three objectives. Then what are the challenges you will face? You can add those also. Fourth thing comes in about the background, a short description about the background of the study. Uh, you have given us an area of research as you know, nuclear physics, for example, radiation induced luminescence. Those things you can clearly give, you know, uh, some kind of background information. And apart from that, uh, you can answer these key questions. What problem you are trying to solve? What, why you have to selected this particular topic? You can add it. Uh, or otherwise, what problem you are trying to solve? Then, is there a uh, existing solution available or method is there? For that, you have to use this background short description. You can use literature review. Probably, if you conduct literature review, then if you add some uh, no, important reviews, possibly even you can add five reviews, that will be good. That will support your proposal heavily. And next thing you have to write expected results, what you are planning to, uh, you know, what is uh, arrive at, uh, at the end of the research, you can add it and uh, that is a very important thing. And finally, add references. Very importantly, very, very importantly, you cannot copy paste from internet in case if you do that, once they understand, they will, all your proposals will be checked for the plagiarism. So, each proposal will be checked by plagiarism in case if you plagiarized most of the content, you may not get good marks. So, please make it a point. You write on your own. Do not take anything from the internet. If you take, give proper due, give a due credit and rewrite, paraphrase it. Even I have given another video how to paraphrase research papers. You can take it and use it. And But don't copy and just like that give it then you will never get selected because it's a very tough thing. So, you have to maintain academic integrity. That's why they have clearly given it is an official document uh, given in VIT website. So, make sure that you follow all these things. So, this is a quick uh, recap I goes. I guess this will be useful and I will get you in the next video. Bye-bye.